Hi everyone and welcome back if you are new here then hello my name is Zoe and this is my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a close up eye tutorial today which is something I don't do very often. I'm going to do a nice rose gold like smoky eye. My base makeup a lot of the time tends to be the same routine so I thought we would just concentrate on eyes today and I can zoom in and like really show you what I'm doing so I really hope you like this kind of tutorial. I will leave everything that I've used on my skin if you are interested as well in the description and I'll leave a nice base tutorial as well if you want to follow along that too. Okay I don't usually get this close to the camera but I've zoomed in as much as I can. If you do like like more detailed eye tutorials like this then please let me know and I'll definitely do more. So I want to keep it quite easy and simple for you to follow along with as usual. I'm going to start with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette and I'm just going to be using some neutrals. I'm going to mix burnt orange which is this one and warm taupe together so them two together this is just going to be our transition shade and then instead of going right into my crease I'm actually going to follow my socket bone instead so my transition shade is going to be a little bit higher so I'm kind of going like above my crease today because I am going to be bringing up the shimmer that I'll be using later on a little bit higher I'm going to wing it out as well I do love a winged out makeup but I will do like more rounded ones. So just really softly taking them two colours together, working on the outer V and then bringing it up. Taking more of the burnt orange shade now which is a little bit warmer and then just building it up. The main tip with eyeshadow is to build as you go. It's so easy to build on your eyeshadows rather than trying to take colour away. I think this would be really nice as like a bridesmaid look or if you're going to a wedding or wedding guest makeup. Okay so I'm happy with that for now. Next I'm going to go with a Barry M eyeliner. This is the brown waterproof eyeliner and you do have to work quite quick with this if you want it to be smoky. I'm also going to line my waterline with this pencil as well. I love how warm this pencil is. If you've got blue eyes this brown pencil looks amazing and it'll really make the blue in your eyes pop as well. And this does take practice doing your top waterline so just be gentle and I just think it makes a massive difference especially if you're doing something a bit more smoky as well. And then I'm going to rub it quite unneatly really just into this very outer corner. I think I'm gonna do a wing as well, but I'll do that with eyeshadow. And then I'm just gonna really smoke it and push it in. It does take a little bit of work, this eyeliner does. It's not the most like a smudgeable pencil, but I'm gonna go over it with an eyeshadow anyway, so it doesn't need to be super neat. I just wanna get this outer corner nice and smoky. Okay, so we're starting to get a little bit of smokiness in the outer corner. Next, I'm going to take this one, which is Cypress Umber out of this palette. And this is what I'm gonna draw my wing with. So it's like a really deep, rich brown. I've already got the shadow like nice and winged out. So I've already got kind of a shape to trace from. Just a tiny wing. And I'm happy if it's not super, super sharp. I'm gonna go over and smoke it out in a bit. Anyway, so that is my wing on, and then I'm gonna go back in with that brush we've just used for the liner, and taking a little bit of cypress umber on the top, and then just smudging it into the lash line. Okay, so now for the rose gold in the inner section. This is actually what inspired this makeup look today. This is the Caviar Stick Eye Color crayon from Laura Mercier and this is in the shade Bed of Roses. It's absolutely beautiful. I'll put it on my hand and there if you can see it. They're so creamy and blendable but when they're on, they're on. You can see like the lighter part which is bare. That's where we're going to put this. So I'm going to go to the inner corner. I'm going to bring it right off everywhere basically that we haven't applied any other shadow. So I'm just going to pop it on and then with my finger I'm going to blend it out. Please ignore my nails. I'm going to do them later. 
Then once I've blended it, just to build it up a little bit more, I'm gonna go straight over the top. You can use a brush if you need to, but honestly, they blend so easily. Yeah, I don't really think you need to. These are so easy to use as well. They look so beautiful. I definitely wanna try more shades. Okay, I did say this makeup look was gonna be super easy. Next, we're going to just curl our lashes. This is an eyelash curler from Primark. I actually really need to clean it. Okay, let's do mascara. I'm going to do Volume Million lashes from L'Oreal. I'm going to really coat up my lashes even though like, I'm going to be doing falses. Okay, so for lashes, I'm going to be using these from Velour Lashes. These are in the style No Drama. So a little tip when it comes to your lashes is hold the lash in the centre and have a mirror and look down into the mirror and place your lash from above down onto your lashes instead of trying to come in from the front it can be a little bit awkward like that so if you hold your mirror down as far as you can look down into it and just place your lash on the top it's so much easier to get it in the right position okay so while those lashes are drying off i'm going to take that pencil i think i am going to do like a smoky under eye. So I'm gonna take that brown pencil that we used earlier and I'm gonna apply this in the waterline but just on the outer half. We're gonna take those first two transition shades just on a little smudger and we're going to run this underneath. If you're like me and you do suffer with under eye lines as well, a little bit of shadow underneath will just help disguise like a little bit of creasing underneath because it is inevitable especially if you have more dry skin like I do so I feel like this does disguise it a little bit and then we're gonna take Cypress Umber again I'm just using the little angled brush that we used for the wing and I'm going to press this just right into the lash line just on the very outer corner so it just deepens the smokiness on the outer corner a little bit more and I'm just going back in with that little crayon and I'm just going to press this into my inner corner and just bring it round a little bit so it's now my inner corner highlight as well. Okay, last but not least, bottom mascara. Not for everybody, but I love it. Okay, guys, so that is our finished rose gold eye look. Okay, so that is our finished rose gold makeup look. I really hope you liked today's video. I know it was a little bit short but sweet, but I love videos like this. So if you prefer me to do sometimes more just eye tutorials than whole face, then please let me know and I will definitely do more. That completes today's video. I really hope you did enjoy it. Let me know if you did down in the comments. Please give it a big thumbs up as well. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next week in my next vlog. Bye!